In this video, we're going to be going over the example codes in C++ and how to run them. So you're going to want to go to your SDK folder here. I have mine in my documents. Uh, so go into the SDK folder, go to C++, go to examples. Uh, I'm using protocol 2. I'm using a U2D2 with a U2D2 power hub board connected to an XH430 W350. Um, it's protocol 2, and I'm going to show you three different examples that you can run. I'm going to show you read write right now. So you're going to click into read write. I'm using Windows 64, and then I'm going to boot up Visual Studios um, to be able to run my C. Now, if everything was set up correctly in the last video, then it should run without a problem. There's just some values that you have to change. Um, you're going to have to go in and it says control table address here. Um, basically what it, it's asking you to do is to make sure that you're addressing the right control table for torque enabled goal position and present position. Um, I already adjusted these to be the correct positions but if you need to get them you can go into the e-manual, go to the X series or whatever series you're of dynamics you're running. I'm using an XH430 so XH430 here and We'll scroll down to the control table here. I'll just put this off to the side a little bit. So from here you can see torque enabled 64, that's correct. 116 is goal position, that's correct. And 132 is present position, and that's correct. Um, I know I'm, this Dynamics was protocol 2 standard. Um, the default settings of this one are, are 1. 57,600 and I know that my COM is in COM3. I use Dynamixel Wizard to figure out all that information. Um, the last portion is how this program will, will act. It's 1 for torque enabled, 0 for disabled. It's pretty standard across Dynamixels but you can check that also in the control table. Um, this is maximum position value of 100 and uh, minimum position value of 100, maximum of 20 or 1000. Ooh. Um, and this is basically just what they're going to oscillate between. Um, so we're going to go ahead and run this program now. Ooh, am I hooked up to it? Oh, my, my U2D2 isn't plugged in. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that in and then turn on the SMTS. And now we should be able to run the debugger. Okay, so it worked. I'm going to just to press this key to start. I'm going to press the key. And there's no status packet. Ah, I've reset this Dynamixel, so it's not 57,600. It's actually a million, so like that. And now let's run it. Alright, there we go. There's a lot of little pitfalls, and the only reason I knew what was going on is because I had checked it out in the uh, Dynamixel Wizard beforehand, and I, I knew what it was going on. Um, but you want to definitely go go around and check to make sure all of your values are correct. Um, otherwise, it might not work. But that was uh, the read-write command. It's really useful to show you how to actually move the Dynamixels. We're going to go on to Protocol 2. I'm going to show you the ping command. This will just basically tell you if the Dynamixel is actually like, if the program is picking up the Dynamixel at all. Um, it's one of the most simple commands and very useful to make sure that, that everything is connected properly. All right, so there's don't have to change much here. I know it's protocol two. Now the ID is one, and I just discovered that the uh, the baud rate is actually a million. So I'm going to change that, and now it should work. Going to run the debugger and success. It, it detected one Dynamixel, which is all I have hooked up right now, um, and it tells you the model number and ID number. And exit. We already knew the ID number because we had to know it to uh, input there, but regardless, cool. The last thing I'm going to show you is the factory reset. Going in for factory reset. Let's see. All right. 
it's basically going to ask you what the baud uh, baud rate is, like what uh, number it is on the control table. And for this specific Dynamax so it's eight. It could be different for other ones. Um, I once again got that from the control table, but I exited out of that Google Chrome window. The protocol version is two, the ID is one, and the baud rate is now a million. So let me go ahead and change that. Yes, uh, it's via COM3, and now we get a factory reset. So this is the Dynamics will baud rate by factory reset. Uh, this is the baud num, and then this is the operation mode. Basically what this does is that if you were to change these values, it either does a full reset if you put FF, it does a uh, resets all values except ID if you do uh, 0, 1, and if you do 0, 2, it resets all values except for ID and baud rate. I'm going to go ahead and turn the Dynamixel now, as you can see. It's not going to do anything exciting, it's just going to flash. But I'm going to go ahead and run the local debugger. Alright, it's a success. And yeah, the Dynamixel has now been factory set. So it's, it's back to whatever condition it was. These are three really useful um, uh, examples. And uh, you know, there's there's plenty more. There's multiples that you can do. Um, so for protocol one, you can do a broadcast ping um, or a bulk read write. This will just do it for a lot of a lot of uh, Dynamixels that are hooked up in Daisy Chain. There's also things like sync read write, which will basically programmatically link two Dynamixels to run the exact same, um, which which can be nice also. Um, if you have any questions or comments, you can leave them down in the comment section below. Um, please like and subscribe, and uh, have a wonderful day. Thank you.